So I have this box open. And you know why it's open. Yeah. No address. She'll be happy now. Uh, this is this is actually kind of a wonderful box. I mean, wonderful for two reasons. It was okay. lost for months. Yeah, it was lost for months. So uh, let's talk about this, and then let's talk about these other great boxes. One from Funko, and one from Box Lunch. And you know what's in a little box like this from Box Lunch? Sodas. Sodas. See you in a minute. Hey, welcome back. We are Who's Your Pop. I am getting this box out of the way, and I'm also Rob, and you are? Paige. All right. So, we got this box in the mail. Now, this is actually quite a good story. So, way, way back at the end of December, I bought a box off, or a pop, I should say, off, there's the on, off of uh, trying not to yawn. Facebook Marketplace, right? <laughs> And uh, I really wanted the pop because I have a bunch of the pops uh, in in this. It's not a series. It's not a line of this of this person. I have a bunch of this person's pops, and uh, I really wanted this one. I'm gonna move in a little bit closer because I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. I feel like I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. Waiting for excitement? No, I really am sitting on the edge of my seat. <laughs> so anyway, so I ordered this pop, and and I watched the tracking on it, and it and it showed that it came to our town. And then it just disappeared. And then it said it was being rerouted because it was undeliverable for God knows what reason. Because we had moved. Oh, that's probably it. Because we had moved. But we put in a moving address change. But yeah, but that address was to go to... It was to go to our old address. So then it got lost because it, they tried to deliver it to our old address, which my sister lives at, which she got how many packages before of ours. And they said that this one specific package was undeliverable. Undeliverable. Which they could have delivered it to her. She had been giving us mail for the last, like, two, three months that we moved out of there. Because she got, took over the lease. I got my box lunch, Chester Cheetah. We opened, Cheetah. <laughs> we opened it here. And that was delivered there after this box was supposed to be delivered. But anyway, for whatever reason, this box went AWOL. And I reached out to the seller and I said, look, I, I know you sent it. I could see that it made it here. It just it got re-delivered or resent or re... It's not here. I'm like, so I'm not going to ask you for a refund. But if it comes back to you by chance, if it's return to sender, could you send it back or let me know and just refund me? And he's like, sure. Another couple weeks go by, still nothing. He didn't get anything, I didn't get anything. I opened up another claim with the post office, still nothing. Whatever. Finally, I said to the guy, I'm like, well, I appreciate it. I'm like, I'm not going to pursue anything because I know you sent the pop, so I'm not going to hold you accountable for that. It's it's fair. Like, I could see that you did send it. I can see it made it all the way to Indiana, and then it just went poof. And this was at the time that the post office was just doing stupid stuff. Yeah. Flash forward three plus months later, there's a mail, there's a box in our mailbox and I pull it out, and there's a forwarding label for four twenty two twenty one. And this Which, original box, as we are filming, that's only a couple of days ago. Right. This original box was sent. I, I don't have the date, but it was the end of January one four twenty twenty one. One four twenty twenty one is when this label was printed out. On four twenty two twenty one, it showed up. I mean, you know, it's a Facebook Marketplace box, so of course it's going to be packed with bags, right? But it's better than nothing. However, it showed nothing. up! And it's not damaged. Yeah, I had to take a look at it. I had to make sure it's what it was. So I am super stoked because I really wanted this. And not only is it a pop. You, can you see that? It's a chase. That is the Bill Murray Zombieland chase pop. Zombieland is such a good movie. It's a little, it's a little uh, shadowy today. We're filming a little bit later than we have been. Yeah. But, uh, man, I thought this was gone forever. And here it is. So I have the regular Bill Murray. I have Bill Murray as Dr. Peter Zinkman, the uh, Vinkman, from uh, the Walmart exclusive with the marshmallow all over him. I have a What About Bob Pop. And I really wanted this one. And now I have it. So I have to put him in a protector. So anyway, that showed up. That was really cool. And I notified the seller, by the way, and I told him it showed up. And he was like, great. And I was like, great. And then that was it. So it took four months to finish that transaction. Uh, this here is a box from Box Lunch. I believe this should he be... He probably forgot about it. He probably did. You're shaking the whole thing. I'm taking the table. The camera's not on the table. It's mounted. This is Poorly. two sodas. <laughs> this is the, the, last, the last two sodas that I had ordered from Box Lunch. And uh, we probably have more Box Lunch money in here. And there's Box Lunch money there. And there's 25% off your next purchase. And 
Oh, is it so by me? Lots of stuff. Way too many pursuits. <laughs> oh, yes. They're, they're the right ones. So, this time, we ordered two of the pale man sodas. I don't know if you can see that. What is this? It's, it's a little dark up there. I'm sorry. What? Sorry. So, this is from... We ordered... We got two of these the other day. Two of the fawns. Um, this is from Pan's Guys, Labyrinth. I opened it. This is from Pan's Labyrinth. So there's there's two. There's fawn and there's pale man. These are creatures in there. We order. We opened the fawns. We got two commons. So now we have two of the pale men. Don't look at the poggy pug. We now we opened twelve sodas the other day with no chase. So we have two in What's here. What's the chase of this one? Um. There's one where I think his hands are down, and one where he's got his hands above his eyes, and the eyeballs are in his palms. Eyeballs are in his palm. No. 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 So that's just the common. Are you sure? So the, yeah. So this is soda number thirteen. Pale man. He has his hands up. These were not the greatest sodas. The, These are ugly. These were not the greatest soda designs, but you know. We're buying the sodas. I'm catching up on sodas. And uh, they had them available, so I figured let's get two. This is ugly. It's a strange movie. <laughs> I've yawned like six times already. <laughs> and I am working on the compilation of yawn video. It's 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 being put together. It's gonna take a while because I gotta go through a lot of footage. But so here we are. Ooh. Ooh, no. No, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the common. Wait! If you think it's a common, just look at the plug. I'm, I, because I can feel that it's like his hands are there. So rather than open, I'll keep one in the wrapping. Yeah, that's the common. Okay, so there's no point in us opening. I, I, so we have a common one in the wrap, and that'll be available maybe this Saturday, tomorrow, at our claim tomorrow auction sale. Well, oh. when we put this up, it's I was Friday. like. It's not for, it's not Friday today. No. Disclaimer: We pre-tape. Um, so I don't know where that bag of extras is, but I'll put it over here for now, and you can put that one on that pile. So I can't get it open. So these are good piles over there. So now Upside I have. Upside down. <laughs> so now I have a box from Funko. It's a pretty big box. I have four boxes from Funko sitting here, so I'm a little confused on what's in all of them. Um, I think I know. Two of them, two of them, I'm not 100%. Wait, no, I I, th I think this one has sodas in it. I think there's three sodas and a pop. You don't know. Three sodas and a paka paka. That's my guess. But I could be totally wrong. A paka paka. One of the little balls. Why would three sodas and a paka paka come in a giant box like that? Because they put the sodas in sorters now. And here's your second answer. It's a box in a box. I hate the Funko does that. So box in a box, guys. Box in a box. I don't know. We don't know what's in here. I think it's I think it's three sodas or four sodas and a pocket pocket. But anyway, it came out to fifty eight or fifty bucks for the, the shipping. And I bought the pocket because I think I was at like forty. Why are you telling them how much you spent? Because I always sell them. I I I almost always order minimum of $50 for free shipping. Every time I put two items in a cart, right now I have, uh, full disclaimer, I have two of the Black Widow sodas sitting in the cart. With taxing, taxing, taxes, shipping, and the two soda cans, it's like 30 something dollars. If I put one more pop in the cart, I get 50, it, it hits, it, well, two more. But like, if I was to put one more in at that 36, I'd be at 50 bucks anyway. So I might as well just get 50 bucks in free shipping instead of paying all the extra for shipping. Don't pay for shipping itself. No, I'm completely wrong. This is not at all what this is. No, I'm still completely wrong because that is kind of what it is. Okay, so there's... How many of those things do I have? Well, anyway. I literally have no idea what I buy anymore. So first I'm going to pull out a Van Helsing. So there's the Van Helsing from the Bram Stoker's Wait, Dr Dracula line. Don't you have him? Uh, no, I don't unless... Unless you consider the one that's in the Think Geek bag that I was going to display next. So, yeah, I do. So... Hey guys! Ah, maybe it's a giveaway. <laughs> and I'm, I'm this is what happens when you put boxes and bags away for months and don't remember what you order. 
just keeps hitting my Michael Myers. This one I'm really stoked to have. I do not have this one. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's very hard to see today, guys, and I'm so sorry. The lighting, no, the see. lighting is just working against us. I just, I just sat there and watched the last video and said, "Man, we got the lighting right. Everything is showing perfectly." And now this video, and it's like uh, we can't see anything. So this is the Michael Jordan. The uh, which one is this? The C N C is it? But the... careful, man. That's a Jordan pop. Yeah, but you always put them right in front of me, and that, it's so annoying. So I don't block the light. So that's the CNC pop. So we have... Is he over here? I got four of the other uh, pops. Next week, it'll just be me. Uh, <laughs> I've got... And the week after that, it'll just be me forever. I've got... <laughs> you'd cry. I've just got four of the other I Jordan would. pops. So this is this is my fifth This is my fifth Jordan pop. So, and I don't know. I might have to do this. But I ordered this for not... Well, no, maybe not for that one. <laughs> so... Guys, I don't know what I buy. So here's the Godspeed from the Flash series. I have a bunch of Flash Pops, and I just love, 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 love I'm sorry, this pop. sir, but we don't have room in the Flash section for that. We'll have to make room in the Flash <laughs> section. So this is Godspeed. Uh, it is not the GameStop Glow in the Dark. I did not get my hands on that one, but I do have the common. So there's three others in the series. There's the regular Flash, then there's the Glow in the Dark Flash, which is really cool looking. Um, there's Killer Frost and there's Bloodwork, and I think Bloodwork goes for like four bucks now. PPG. I, it's not a very pretty pop, but it is what it is. Um, but here is the pop that I bought this whole box for. I am super stoked about this pop, guys. It is the Glow in the Dark Funko Shop exclusive, The Flash. Yeah, I was able to grab one of these when they put them up. They did the drop, and it's cool because see, the base down there is actually a separate piece. So it's him in the Speed Force. It glows in the dark. We're going to have to learn to take glow-in-the-dark pictures and add them in now that I've gotten good at adding pictures into the video. Um, and uh, I was just super excited to have this. I'm glad I was able to grab one in the drop. Um, I, I do love The Flash. I love The Flash TV series, and uh, even though I haven't watched the new season lately, but the first two, three seasons were just fantastic. And then they had Godspeed at the same time, and it wasn't the glow in the dark, but I was able to grab one of them. So I got two for there. And then one for you. Put this guy back in his sorter. Guys, tell me what you think about these sorters with the notches. Do you like them? I don't like them. I feel like it leaves that section open. Not a big fan of the notch sorters. Um, I don't think I have this one. I would check, but I don't want to stand up and show everyone my butt walking over there. Well, so. you wear these short dresses now. Oh, that's got... I don't think you have the strawberry ear one either. I don't think so. That one's very cool. I have all of these guys on the shelf back here, guys. So, but I don't think I have him. Yeah, so, so those are all the boxes. So, I got a couple of pops here that I picked up, some store pickups. We haven't shown off any bag pickups lately. We've been doing so many box openings that we, we've neglected. We have a pile of bags in the closet, which is just crazy. So, I want to start pulling some of them out. So, this one... We don't know when we got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no idea. But I picked up, at some point, the Harlem Globetrotters. 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 Uh, I used to see the whole... The Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> All the time with my mom and grandma um, when I was younger and we'd go to Madison Square Garden when they would come out and we'd watch the game and uh, it was just so much fun and that was like early 80s so like it was some of like the old school Globetrotters and uh, that was just a lot of fun. So when I saw they did a Globetrotters pop, I'm glad they just kind of made it a generic and didn't try to go by all the names and this was actually purchased, oh not too bad, April 10th. So we're not too far behind on that bag. That's because it was on top, guys. And then another bag. We'll pull some stuff out of here. Some other pops we picked up. I'm pretty sure I have ten of him now. Uh, Steve Austin. Babe. This is the... Why? Uh, this is the not the 7-Eleven one that we got. There's the regular Steve Austin, and then there's the 7-Eleven exclusive. How many Steve Austins do we need? <laughs> How many Steve Austins are they going to make? That's what I'm asking, Funko. Uh, next... I guess this is a WWE bag, is the Edge. The Edge. What else we got in here? Well, we got China. <laughs> China. 
Yeah, very dark today. I'm sorry, guys. Very cool pop. It's because it's really dark outside right now. It is very dark. Today. If you can't tell how dark I am, it's because I'm sitting by the window. And then I was very excited to grab this pop because I haven't seen it in stock for a while. Lil Wayne! All right! How do you go wrong with that? Look at the back of the box on this one. I need two hands for this. Boom. There's the artwork. And one more item in here. Also very excited to have. Looking for random hot cash. There's none in there. There's a receipt in there to tell you when we bought it. In the end, everything. <laughs> I forgot the words. I used to karaoke this song. Linkin Park, the album. Look at that. We have a lot of albums. We do. We need a new wall. I didn't think I picked this up. I, I thought I missed out on it, but I did not. So I'm very excited to have One it. One of them, the, he was knocked over. Yeah. And then all the Queen ones, when I went to the one store, they were all uh, spun around and off the little peg. Um, this was purchased on uh, March 15th. So a little bit over a month and a half ago. Six weeks ago. So it's empty. We opened it. It's out. And now it's uh, some more pops for the rock section, which is... Back there and full. And I don't know if you can see, but we got a Hoosier Pop video happening behind us live on the TV. Once we get the rest of the studio fixed, we're going to be back probably about halfway in through the room. And you'll have the TV behind us. It'll be cool. We'll show off some of our buddies on the video behind us. Um, that's all I got. Is there anything else you want to show? Um, no. no. I want to tell a quick story. Quick story. We have uh, about two minutes. A year ago today... Rob drove nine hours. Today as in the day we're filming this, which is Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. The 28th of April. Rob drove eight and a half, nine hours from Pennsylvania to Indiana. Brought his cat. Told me that he was just coming for our weekend. I'm not leaving without my cat. And cat never Cat had left. Nothing, nothing to do with it. Never left. In a few weeks, our anniversary of moving you out of your apartment into mine will happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's been a year. Not a year since we started dating. No, it's been over a year. It's been uh, over a year. But it's been a year since we've been together physically because the first three months, mm -hmm. we were long distance um, via Facebook Messenger pretty much 24 hours a day. Yeah. And then you came here with your cat. For my three-year-old at the time, fourth Keep birthday, talking. and, um... Keep talking. I'm looking for something. But, yeah, he came here. Keep him entertained. Keep talking. I'm <laughs> distracted now. But he came here. Um, so a little backstory, because I don't know if very many people know. Um, but we were long distance for three months. I got a two-bedroom apartment, was doing... Everything on my own, taking care of the two little boys, um, and then. What are you? Doing? you know, I'm, are you finish your story? Um, and then so he came here, and then brought his cat, and then his 16 year old, well 15 year old at the time, um, reached out and said that some things happened with his mom, and that he needed to find a place to live. That he was couch surfing, um, and then he. We moved him, we flew him here, like, the next day after he told us that. Um, so there was five of us living in a two-bedroom apartment for, what, six, seven, eight months? Something like that, until we bought our house. Because um, our house buying process was, that's a whole other story. But. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're here. So congratulations, and uh, happy anniversary. Are you going to vanish tonight? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll tell you that story another day. Um, so I want to take one second before we end the video here. I want to give a shout out to Clint Fraley sixty four over on Instagram. I might have uh, I might have pronounced that wrong. Apologize. Uh, I apologize if I did. Clint Fraley sixty four. Uh, we were driving the other day and I got a message on Instagram from someone I was not connected to, so I accepted it, and it said I am number two hundred and fifty sub. Proud to be cool show and uh, I knew right away that he was 250 over on YouTube because I was at 249 for like three or four days and it was driving me nuts um, so he was our 250th subscriber um, so I think that's pretty cool 
Um, so thank you for being there. Thank you to everybody that yeah. constantly reaches out. We get some wonderful messages um, and wonderful comments. I've made a lot um, of re relationships with some of the Funko yeah. people. And but I mean, like even just like like uh, through like Instagram messages or comments on videos, just some of the the positive stuff that you guys say, and to to know that uh, you guys enjoy this that much, like. I, I have a very negative uh, opinion a lot about a lot of things that I do, and I'm always like very down on myself about it. And uh, I'm gonna get emotional if I keep talking, but yeah, but like, uh, and the, I, I want to add something because I was not. Um, I feel like a lot of people think like, oh, to do YouTube, you had to be the cool kid in school, or you had to be the most popular in school. Like, I was not the cool kid. I was n not like the cool popular kid like I was far from that so like knowing that we have such a giant community that's so supportive is insane especially with some of the stuff that I dealt with in high school yeah. like it's crazy to think that what six years later like this is like where we're at it's awesome six anyway um what? Clinton Fr <laughs> for me yeah for you <laughs> <laughs> Woo, not for me. Um, so yeah, so Clint Fraley 64 over on Instagram. I don't think he runs a YouTube channel. I don't think he even runs like an Instagram page. I'm going to look him up real quick. Mm. No, 20 followers, zero posts. Um, so just, just someone watching the videos reached out. I said, thank you. Um, I said, I'll make sure I'll do a call out and video. So Clint, uh, man of my word, if nothing else. And then he said, thanks. Looking forward to many more videos. I love how raw and real you video, your videos are. Don't change. Keep it up. Father of five. We all love Funkos. So that I was just driving and I got that message. So and I get wonderful messages like that all the time from people. And it's just it, it amazes me. Like, thank you. Like, I, 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 I can't tell you how many times I sit here and go, I'm just not I'm just going to stop. She knows like she I all the time. I tell him to stop. I tell him to just drop it. Not, not to stop like, doing channel. No, like to stop I saying I'm going to stop like, doing the I'm channel. I'm like, please drop it. Please stop talking like that. I'm like, I'm not talking to you if you're going to continue to talk like yeah, that. And get, I'll walk away. I, like, but, you know, like she said, like you, you get bullied a lot and stuff like that. And you grow up with a mindset that, you know. Like nobody likes that you. That nobody's going to like you and everything that you're doing is ridiculous. And, and then you just, you get all this love from all these strangers and friends that we've made. And probably this weekend we'll be going out with some friends that we uh, haven't met in person but have uh, communicated with a lot um, on this video. And uh, uh, if you've seen vi previous videos, you know who we are. Um, but Clint, um, since I have two of these tonight, makes this easy. I, uh, I'm i not going to say anything until this video is up. Uh, hopefully you watch it, but I will reach out to you on Friday. And since I have two of these, uh, for being the 250 sub, I'm going to do a 250 sub giveaway. Um, and I'm going to send you a Van Helsing um, for you and the five people in your house that love Funkos. This is a new Funko for you guys to have. Uh, just a small thank you for that wonderful message and for being my 250th sub. Appreciate that. Um, it was nice to just be taking a drive and then get a positive message like that and to have you reach out and be excited to be that 250th sub. So thank you. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a little something for you. And of course, there'll be stickers and stuff in the box. So, um, Guys, that's all I got. I just wanted to touch on that. I wanted to make sure I did a call out uh, to Clint. So Clint Fraley, 64. Um, I'd, I'd say go check him out on Instagram or YouTube, but he, I don't think he's really looking for any kind of attention as far as followers or whatnot. Um, but, I mean, if you want. If you want, if go you follow, want, him go on, follow him on Instagram, by sure. Um, he doesn't post anything now, but you never know. Maybe you could have been in his top first hundred people to follow him and yeah, encourage him to start posting he might just stuff. Be, he might just be a starter. Clint, if anything, go on, take a picture of this, post it on your page, and, and you know, hashtag... 250. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're Hoosier Pop. I'm Rob. I'm Paige. And happy anniversary. And we will see you next time. Uh, Monday will be our next video probably. We've been doing Monday videos. Mondays are the retro videos. I think I have one more before I do like the really old, like one of our very first videos. And then one of the videos, part of that one will be uh, a video that we shot before we even thought about really doing a YouTube channel. We were just kind of like playing around with it. Those little Nightmare Before Christmas minis. Oh. Um, That's a bad video. Guys, it, please don't judge us. Yeah, no, that, that, that was literally just on the phone last second. Let's film us opening up these little mysteries and stuff like that. But I have it still, so uh, uh, just we'll just we'll just post it. It'll be fun. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's there. 
Um, guys, thank you for hanging out with us as always. Don't forget, uh, Saturday night, Papa Missouri's channel, we're going to do, we, we've dubbed ourselves Collector to Collector. Uh, we do a live claim and auction and uh, amazing deals, and that's why we call it Collector to Collector, man. We're hoping that these pops come from one collector to another, and, uh, you know, we just the prices are amazing, um, and, uh, you know, we, we start off very fair, and it's up to you guys if you want to uh, bring them up or not. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. We went for four hours this past Saturday, which just is amazing. Yep, I went so, to bed. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> guys, that's it. That's all I got for you. I'm not going to ramble. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye. bye.